What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Happy Monday y'all. Uh, we are going to go over a topic that has been brought up many many times on live streams and in comments and mainly this comes from fighting some of the newer bosses that have come to the game over the last several years that are a little bit of a gear check. Uh, of course, newer players are struggling with these bosses, uh, like the old Big Bird. Um, really, any of the new bosses uh, have a little bit of damage reduction on them. Now, the answer to beating these boss fights, uh, first off, is always have a monk in your group, uh, as a monk boost is just quite incredible. Now, we're not going to be going over that today, but what we are going to be going over is ways that you can automate boosting your hero by using the proper defenses. Now, uh, first off, just for a baseline, uh, we're on a hero damage hunter here, so we are going to be keeping an eye on our hero damage stat. Um, for that one, let's let, all, let's let everything reset and then make sure we get a fresh swap in the mix. Uh, when we swap over and we look at my hunter, I've got 261,000 hero damage. Now, this just comes... Uh, from my gear, uh, using the swap chips, of course, so you want to make sure you swap in um, periodically to keep that buff refreshed. And for me, I'm sitting at 261,000 hero damage. Now, if we add in a few different defenses, first off, let's take a look at uh, probably the most well-known of all of the boosting defenses, and that is the Dryad and the World Tree. Now, the World Tree is going to give you a crit damage boost. Uh, if we take a look at the description of the Dryad as a new character, and we look at it, the World Tree provides the power that the Dryad needs to summon her defenses. It restores 5% of a hero's max HP over time, while giving plus 20% hero crit damage and 10% hero crit chance to heroes. Now, currently, the Dryad's World Tree is a little bit buggy, and it's not giving the bonuses. However, it is still giving the healing. So with that in mind, you're going to get yourself a heal that's pretty darn good just by standing in the radius of a World Tree. Now, this means, of course, you want to get some range on your World Tree and make that aura nice and large. Anytime you're standing in it, you're going to be getting that heal and then the boosts. Now, in addition to just having the tree down, you've also got the World Tree McBufferson shard. The World Tree's hero buff now lingers for an additional 8 seconds, and it also increases hero damage and ability power by 10%. Now, as I mentioned, these things are currently a little buggy and not working properly. However, for the majority of the time in Dungeon Defenders 2, they have been working properly, and they will be working properly again in the future. So, a World Tree is something you are always going to want to add into your build wherever it is you're going to be fighting the boss. You want to keep this in that area. Uh, now let's move on over to the Mystic. The Mystic has got the Obelisk and it's got Snaking Sands. So if we take a look at the Obelisk, for example, we see that the Obelisk deals damage over a wide range that has a chance to transform its targets into snakes for a short time can additionally buff heroes, increasing damage and resistance. Uh, this is the little bubble that you will see on heroes when you throw down an obelisk. So uh, you're going to get that uh, bubble. It's going to take, it's going to go through its rotation. It's going to hit enemies or it's going to buff a player. When you've got the bubble around you, you are buffed and the obelisk is going to give you a very nice buff to increase your power. Now, in addition to that, we've also got a shard, and that is Empowering Blasphemy. Obelisk Hero Stat Boost increased to 66%, and the Polymorph Duration is increased by 5 seconds. Now, the Obelisk by itself is an absolute powerhouse. The Smite Damage uh, that goes out can be quite substantial and give you an amazing amount of just map-wide single-target damage. And then additionally, the Polymorph into Snakes is also a very good crowd control. That is super helpful and does work on many bosses as well. 
Now, the Mystic also has one more little trick up her sleeve, and that is the Snaking Sand Trap. Now, this one is much harder to implement as the trigger range on the Snaking Sands is very, very low. But where you can implement it, you have got the Sandstorm Warrior Shard. The Snaking Sand Sandstorm increases hero damage and ability power by 25% for 25 seconds. So as long as you can get this bad boy to pop off once and you're inside of the radius, you're going to get a 25% boost to your hero damage and ability power. Now, to top things all off, we come back to our lovely monk. Uh, first off, you're always going to have want to have a monk on your team to boost heroes. But additionally, you have got the empowering aura. Just ungilded, it's a 25% boost to hero damage and ability power. So the key there, of course, make sure you have some range so it's easy to stay inside of it. When you're inside of that aura, you're going to get that massive damage boost. Now, let's take a look back at our hunter again. Um, as we mentioned, uh, 261,122 hero damage. Let's check it out once we get some buffs going. So uh, let's get a fresh swap again, just so we're good to go. Uh, first off, of course, we're going to throw down our uh, obelisk. And we'll throw down our snaking sands. We'll put it over here where it will get triggered. Now, the Snaking Sands does have a nice big range, so it's pretty easy to stay inside of it. It's just a matter of getting it triggered. Uh, then, of course, we always want to have our World Tree down. We're going to slap that down. And then we've got our Empowering Aura, because remember, all this stuff stacks on top of each other. Now, when we log back over to our Trusty Hunter and we take a look, we are now at 758,000 hero damage. So we essentially tripled our hero damage output by using these defenses um, as you see this entire package is only 110 du and remember all this does stack up including the monks boost so when you get a monk on your team to give you the boost that 751k hero damage that i've got on my hunter is going to go up substantially while being boosted by a monk so get the proper towers in to boost your heroes and really dish out the pain and it will make your life much much easier in any regard in dungeon defenders 2 when you need that extra little bit of hero damage to get over the hump with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve at the time uh, the obelisk and the world tree are kind of no-brainers in my opinion they're both just incredibly powerful uh, the flame aura or Empowering Aura, you can also throw it on a Water Aura. It's just very, very easy to sneak into any build. Um, you know, it's 30 DU, so it's a cheap defense, very easy to implement. And really, the only thing that's tough to implement in this whole thing at all is the Sandstorm. And that's just from the trigger range. Of course, staying in the Sandstorm buff is pretty darn easy as long as uh, you can get the trap itself to trigger. Uh, but that will do it for now. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite combo for boosting up your hero. Um, normally, if I do any of the current boss maps in the game, I am always going to have these three going. Uh, without question, literally every single time. Uh, when you're farming up like the Earth Guardian stuff, it's very easy to get that sand trap worked in. Um, lots of situations where it is easier to get the sand trap worked in. Uh, the genie is a little bit tougher, um, of course, uh, to get a sand trap functioning with it. Uh, however, these three are going to be able to be used really in every boss situation. But that will do it for now. Hopefully this helps you out with getting your hero boosted up for the raw power required to get through some of these damage resist shields on these enemy boss fights. But that will do it for now. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.